We begin in Normandy, France, where in just a few hours, President Biden will honor veterans from the greatest generation. He'll deliver a speech marking 80, 80 years since D-Day and commemorate the soldiers who helped turn the tide of World War II. NBC's Jay Gray joins us now from Normandy. And Jay, this is a very emotional day for the surviving heroes who made the journey to France. Yeah, Francis, crowds beginning to gather here at the American Cemetery. Dignitaries and leaders, including President Biden, as you talk about, uh, will gather here today. But clearly, it's the heroes that they've come to honor who are the most important guests on these grounds. The men who stormed the beaches, the fighter pilots, those on board the ships just off the shoreline, the veterans who've returned, and those marked by the headstones just behind us here, the ones who never left. They line up in formation, though most can't march or stand at attention anymore. Still, they move through this battlefield turned graveyard memorial, a visit that brings with it memories of their first trip here 80 years ago. <laughs> I'm reliving walking in on D Day. Staff Sergeant Jake Larson landed on Omaha Beach. With the first wave of Allied soldiers, his unit peppered with machine gun fire as they scrambled to combat positions. Larson somehow making it across the sand without taking a hit. How do you explain something like that? And these, my, my buddies are, are buried here. I, I'm 101 years old. It won't be long and I'll be joining them. One of the reasons, for many, it's so important to be here. A chance to say one final goodbye and to honor those who never left. We lost, we lost so many men, it's unbelievable. And uh, the young people should know about this. And they really don't. So uh, I just I had to say something. So they share their stories, take pictures. Though most will tell you, they don't care much for all of the attention. And even though they are, many refuse the label of hero. They got my hero at all. I, 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 it, it's, the, 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 those guys that sacrificed their life are the heroes. I'm the result of the be, the, their being heroes. Truth is, they're all heroes, remembered for their service, courage, and sacrifice. Yeah, what, what an amazing week it's been, and, and what a gift it's been to be able to spend some time with some of these men. I was struck by something one of the D-Day survivors uh, told me as he pointed out to the White Crosses here with tears in his eyes. He said, most of these guys were 17, 18, 19 years old. They never had families. Uh, he said, but they made it possible for me to have a family, to live a long life because of their sacrifice. Amazing uh, to hear what they have to say and, and to see how much they respect and honor uh, those who didn't make it off of this battlefield. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.